always good to take a nice deep breath, you see. Greetings, dear beautiful spirit soul that you are. Mm. Ooh, it feels good to be outside in nature and, you know, by this beautiful lake. to be able to share with you my topic. It's okay for you to feel good. It's okay to feel good. And you see, we've been so programmed to believe that uh, it's not okay to feel good. And so then people indulge in all kinds of outer things to get to feel good that may for a moment you forget how bad you feel. What was it? Emerson, the uh, American philosopher, said, people live lives of quiet desperation because their hope in the outer has gone. Or maybe they're too old and they don't feel their hopes have been fulfilled. Or they're almost over the hill. Or they could go at any moment. Or you could lose it or somebody wants to take it. Or it's all. This is just Getting, keeping us distracted to be, gen, to be producing those thoughts, to be producing that reality through us when it's alien to who we are. It's not us. And you have to get, you are not your mind. You have a mind and you're not those thoughts. You have the thoughts or you, the thoughts are flowing through that device or that mind situation that is the home of what you might say, what would you say, the faults. That, that is the, the, the realm of fear. And, and lack and, and limitation because that's not the truth of us. We are abundance itself. We are prosperity. We are life. We give life. This is who we are. Mm -hmm. It's okay to feel good. Now that does not mean I'm thinking I'm better than anyone else or less than but to feel good actually really actually really happens when we're doing good. Uh, in that sense of uh, like you've taken a walk in the woods, you know, or by the water, or maybe you have some nice plants in your house somewhere or some place you could be that, you know, you have some nature. So right there where that is, right where you are. And what happens, what keeps us from feeling good is, the, is this mind virus. That's a symptom of the mind virus. It's, you feel good and you feel bad. You try to feel good to overcome feeling bad or make others feel bad so you can feel good. It's this duality that keeps the war going on, the conflict. It's the warship called worship. It's the worship of the mind, the worship of the mind. And giving the power to the virus of sense. Because we've been using it, this language is how we've been communicating and denying all of our other capabilities and giving those all to some kind of machine that's going to give it to you when you already have it. And that is such a minimal aspect of what it is that you could do or possess, you see. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is what is important to know and to be. It's okay to feel good. And you say, well, what about the people that feel bad? You mean you feeling bad is going to help them feel good? And some people, they get upset when you feel good. Why? Because they think that there's a duality. You're feeling good means they have to feel bad. No. And then we feel good by doing good. That means that our intentions are always for the welfare and the well-being of all living entities, including all animals, you see. We're a benefactor. Mm -hmm. We are the caretakers of the wealth, of the divine, that we are part of. Yeah. 
It's okay to feel good. Yeah. You don't have to think yourself good. What is the feeling of it? You say, yeah, but I don't understand. So what do we do? We're set up to self-torture, self-punish. And to punish others and torture them and, you know, -da -da -da, keep them in line. Get them. See, you have to be willing to live without agreement. Because you're not trying to be normal or to fit in. And you're, try you're not trying to be different. You're not trying to do any of that. It's like you're just being who you are, you see. Hmm? That's okay to be who you are. It's okay to be interested in what you're interested in, in that where your talent is and your abilities are and your natural calling of what, what feels good for you. You know what, what that is. Then the thoughts are, what are the thought? That's toss, that's thought. That's a virus right there. It's going, no, you can't do that. You gotta conform here, cause uh oh, you're going outside the line there. Uh, ee, 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 tweak, tweak. Yeah. Okay. It's okay to feel good. And see, yeah, perceive the sweetness and the goodness. But you also perceive whatever's going on. It's okay to feel good. Mm -hmm. And it's okay that others feel good. Yeah. And because goodness is who you are, your absolute goodness at the level of who you really are. There is no duality. There's no badness. But really? No. When people say, oh, there's no good or bad, they're talking, oh, no, no. In this place, you got good and evil going on. But these are not the divine, no. These are these duality games. You rise above that to the absolute. I'm an absolutist. Why, why bother with anything else? You want to be relative to what you are or do you want to be who you are? Okay, that's it. So when you're feeling good, you're being good because you're centered in, in what you are about is the genuine joy of others brings joy to you. Mm -hmm. So, it's your job to feel good. Yeah, and to do good. And in that sense of um, endeavoring for the welfare of all. Because there's no competition for goodness and good. That's the faults. That's the symptom of the virus, the medicine, now, take back on and be who you are. Trust in your inner knowing. Claim what you already have. Act as if and you are. It's the truth. Stay centered in your heart. Mm -hmm. you know.